Here we go. This one's called Innocence, and it's about growing up and pretty much the lack thereof. Innocence has been unscripted, loose to slip through nicotine scorched fingertips and fall like ash to the earth from which we've been inadvertently ripped. Trading the time, slandering ourselves, grasping more fruit from the tree than we plan to hold, but sharing none, as none are sold, and despite the cost, nothing is worth its weight in gold, as gold could never be exchanged for what we've lost. We're stumbling over more than just chairs as we guzzle down the last drops of our affairs and fail to stop. We discard the empty bottles not long after the first corks pop, but the noise doesn't deter us, nobody cares. We walk into these fields partly blind, but clothed in our unfailing certainty, leaving all of our innocence behind, and now, as we fly these new delights like coloured kites through the sky, we fail to see. And whatever happened to holding hands? And those friendship bands are on our wrists. It seems they've been replaced by one-night stands, shameless games that fall just short of casual demands and anonymous evening tryst. We're all caught up, unaware, in a large, constricting net like fish of the modern sea, clueless of deliverance. And we fail to remember as we fail to regret the thing we once called innocence has now become a long forgotten pet. This one is about growing old, getting a bit older, and kind of seeing the years go by. And I'm still waiting for that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I can, I can relate. It's called a showcase. This is a showcase, and we all, we, it's all we needed here. Wanted, delivered, punted down the stairs in a glamstone suitcase, rolling furiously with clothes and tangled bits of dirty bodies mangled in a hollow brown coat space. Thuds! The wooden floorboard, eyes clasped at the noise, and hands shake, 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 and wander off into a thicket of unwieldy trust as they grasp at the fine ends of coarse admiration and grow long. A cough, then a push, and a wild idea turns to sand and slips through the fingers again. Will it ever end? Will it ever begin? Oh, it would be too grand, but it lingers. Lingers in me still, the thoughts of growing old and ill. It ends. Worn down faces of white feathers, only old men falter, they say. They seem to stumble on their words like a flock of flightless birds chasing the sun to find its stay and the earth to move beneath their wings. This bluebird sings, and, and with a red hot heart and a voice that rings aloud along the shadows, drawn and pulled apart, and hopes to never come of age until the ropes that hold the curtains burn its darts. In the game of flight, the elderly seem to be cast to the shallow end of gravity place where all life starts. Thank you. The last one I chose um, is actually like, um, a lot of people have uh, heard of a love poem, you know, like everyone's fallen in love at least once, and I just thought, I haven't really heard of many love poem, poems being thrown out here, so I figured I'd give it a go. This one's called Here and Now, Now and Then. Hey, hey, it starts with a smile, cheeks lifting, faint sounds of the water crawling in and sifting through the furrowed files of shining browns. Worthwhile to sit and listen as it speaks. We're drifting, white wood, weathered and hollow, barefoot and belly breathing again. Sorbet sands, delicate, running through the fine cracks in our hands, we're weaving fingers once more. And now, more than ever before, believing that this shore that lingers under lightning strikes may be the last place we'll ever stand. Oh, but nature turns and sees and likes. Its camera flashes and we're caught. Our outlines traced and I thought, hey, hey, that's all I can actually say. Maybe it means a whole lot more than naught, but in a way, it's a role I'd sort of play and I knew I'd eventually see it to the day. Those eyes spoke to me again and whispered, with lashes entangled and batting at 120 angles, and I lost. My mind mangled to nothing but cloud matter. Long finger bangles buckled and crossed around mine in a loud roar of ocean that came and went and found its rest again as I found my lungs again. I begged them to stay caught in the puddle of life they breathed in. Hey, hey.